Hi Debbie. Hello. This is a gorgeous necklace. Thank you. Yes, you're going to show us how to make it. I am indeed. This shows how to make a lovely design just using two or three beads. You don't have to use the whole strand of gemstones. So, Brilliant, okay. So here we go. This is what you need to make this design. You need a, a piece of chain. You need a toggle clasp. You need some jump rings. You need a little extender chain, which is always useful to have on your jewellery, and a little clasp. You need a large bead, too small, a spacer bead or a feature bead, mm -hmm. and then um, a head pin and some extra chain to make a tassel. Perfect, okay. Right, so right. let's get started. Yeah, brilliant. First thing you do, using your, um, your cutters out of a toolkit, you need your cutters to cut your chain. Now you cut your chain at the finished length, so measure that first, depending what length of chain you want to, to use. Very, very easy to cut chain just using your, your, your cutters. So that's the first thing you do. Mm -hmm. Then we want to put a clasp onto the back of it. Now to add the clasp, you need to add a jump ring. Now jump rings are a little circle of metal. If I show you one that hasn't been opened, I'm just going to pop my glasses on so I can see the opening for you. Mm -hmm. When you open a jump ring, make sure that the opening is at the top. You can feel that with your nail, you can feel a little bump. So hold the jump ring at the side, put your round nose pliers at the top and then open. You open and close like a door and you don't open sideways, otherwise you distort the shape of your jump ring. Okay. So I'm going to take the end of my chain and I'm going to pop on an extender chain. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it easier when you come to wear your jewellery, you can wear it long or short. Mm. So then I take the other end, I take another jump ring, I've already opened this one, and close it again with my pliers. So that's nice and firm. Now the clasp I'm using is a little hook, so that can go through your jump ring, like so. That can be open the opposite side, and that can go anywhere through your extender chain mm -hmm. or through the loop. And you used the flat nose pliers to open that? I then, did, didn't yes. You? Yes, okay. I did. So there is your, your finished chain, if you like. Gorgeous. So then we're going to put our design on the front of it. Right. So, there we go. These, this is a toggle clasp, but it's nice to use your to toggle clasp in different ways. Mm. It doesn't have to be used just as a clasp. So I'm going to use yet another open jump ring. I'm going to take my toggle clasp and I'm going to just feed that onto the chain. It can be anywhere on the chain, it doesn't matter, because that will mm -hmm. slide up and down. And that's a feature in itself, that's a nice little pendant just by itself, but it's nice to add something else to it. So, Lovely. now I'm going to do the feature. I'm going to okay. pop that down mm -hmm. and I'm going to take a, a ball head pin. It can be any head pin, I'm going to cut that off actually in a minute, but it just, just to show you exactly what I'm using. Lovely. And then I'm going to take a small black bead, a little um, fancy jump ring, a large bead, mm -hmm. another fancy jump ring, and my last bead. There we go, like so. Simple, okay. Yep. I'm going to then take my round nose pliers, place them on the end, right on the tip of the um, the head pin and just turn it. Take them out again, turn it, and now you've got like a little loop. Pop your pliers back in and just kink it backwards. And you end up with like a little eye at the top. Yeah, lovely. Turn it upside down and you want to repeat this, but you've got the little ball in the way there. So you need to just trim that off. That's with your cutters. With my cutters. Yeah. And tilt that over to one side. Mm -hmm. Again, grab it with your pliers and turn into a loop. Mm -hmm. That is then attached to, you open it again, and I'm going to attach that to the other half of my toggle clasp. So that I'm going to open again like a door to one side. Mm -hmm. There we go. And close. So that is the beginning of your little pendant. So that's oh, the yes. first part. Now I want to add some chain to the bottom. So I've taken some excess chain and I have cut two or three lengths that I know are the same length and those I'm just going to pop onto the bottom of my design. So I'm going to open my loop on my pendant, like so. 
take my chain. You can put as many pieces as you want on here, depending on the thickness of your chain and your design. And different you lengths. Want. Absolutely. Well. Yeah, you could mm. if you wanted to. Now, this chain, there we go. So there is your pendant. And all you have to do now is to use it as a toggle, and that goes through the middle. Now, the yeah. nice thing about this sort of pendant is that you could take that off and you can make lots of different pendants. Absolutely, it could be interchangeable. So there is your finished design. So simple and so effective. And, and as you say, Debbie, you can make completely different designs if you want to, just using that simple, that simple, simple technique. Fantastic. Thanks for that, Debbie. Thank you. Brilliant. Have a go, everyone.